we go. So this is a video that I did last June. Uh, it was right after I came back from doing the Little Pigeon River up in Sevierville. It wasn't a great day of fishing. We caught a few. So I was just kind of like, wasn't all that excited about making a video, but I went ahead and threw it together just because I ain't got a lot of stuff going on right now. I went with my buddy Dan, which we get to go maybe maybe once a year. I actually flipped my kayak in a um, class three rapid which is uh, something I avoid every time I go there. There's just no point going through there, especially with a lot of gear. Somehow my anchor slipped out and um, got hung. He had a Kusa, which is 12 and a half feet. I had a Kusa, that's, that's 14 feet. Narrow, made for big water. You're sitting top heavy, not made for that situation. And you actually, if you rent kayaks, canoes, and take the shuttle from uh, New River Canoe and Campground, and you have to sign this waiver saying you've been formed not to, to avoid that. There's been a lot of people that have drowned right there. But Dan went, and I, you know, peer pressure, what can I say? He went down it, so I decided I was gonna go down it. Sometimes you end up in the drink. But anyway, check it out. And if you think it's gonna fly out, just put it in the back, yeah. Um, put it in a, I think this will open. Shh. When you stop, it has that safety lock. It locks all the doors. Yeah, it's stowed in there. Yeah, so I was a little crunchy this morning. Getting up, it was just a busy day. Yeah, that is a long day, yeah. yeah we went to bed 11 or 12, but I was just kinda, I was running around getting this thing ready. Oh, there it goes. It wasn't reaching when I was just, you could also, you got another strap? Yeah, there's one up there. Better it was that, it was that rod. You good, man. We went this time last year to the uh, coast. Well, me and you went on the river last year, right? It was the year before, because I remember it was pandemic shit. All right, the parking apparently is uh, that. Other Yeah, there's something. I'm gonna. I just I haven't looked into it too too much. I, there might be a way you can disable that. Oh, from up here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was, uh, it was good. Good. It was a good day. I get excited too when fish are biting. If you, if you can tell. <laughs> yeah. I can contain myself. Yeah. It's fun, man. It was just like it was just so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. Getting up and getting up here, man. Last time we fished here, it was, uh, it was like July, wasn't that June or June? June. All right. Yes, sir. Let's bring the food. A couple bottles of water. These are cold still. All right, thank you, sir. Yeah, water feels nice and cool. Cool. Yeah, man, you know, it's, it's nice having a boat, going out on the lakes and fishing and all that, but there's just nothing like being on the river. Yeah, it's a little stained, that's good. See that over there along that bank? That's gold, man. I'm gonna stop and I'll let you get in there. Oh, I just missed one. Oh, I think I'm dragging something. I am. It's a big wad of fishing line. Where's my knife? 
We should have caught a fish by now. There we go. Hard to tell with smallmouth, man. They they fight so hard. I mean, it's yeah. a pretty nice one. Yeah, that's pretty good. <sighs> Strong, man. Yeah, I just I just landed right along the bank. Man, that thing fought hard for a little. Do you think it's a big one? And you get it in, it's not. Spots are like that too. What'd you catch it on? The square bill. I think this rain helps because it washes a lot of stuff. And then the current picks up and it stirs up helgramites and crayfish and worms, bugs. And they apparently got some rain last night. Would you catch it behind that rock there? What's up? And we're representing old school Jackson. Yeah, I know, man. Yes, sir. Missed him. Cool. I can get stills on this too. Maybe we've caught three so far. Yeah. It's not, uh, I mean, it's been worse. It's a largemouth? Yeah. There's a few in here, not many. Yeah, let me let me put my camera up. You got one? I, oh. Wow, man, that thing. Dude, I'm sitting there looking at you. I'm I'm like four feet from the boat. I stop reeling my lure to ask you. And he grabs it. Yeah. He must have followed it in. I'm guessing. Not a bad one. We're gonna go down through there, and I, I just don't, I don't know, I don't wanna go through that. You know? Oh, please don't hook it. And we did. Yep. There. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're clear. Wait, no, yeah, there we go, now we're clear. Are we still hooked? No. We're like, like, we're like Rice Krispies in a bowl, man. We just like stick. This bluff wall might be probably the last thing to hit, and then we'll cross. Yeah, we gotta go all the way over. Yeah, we gotta go over there. Yeah, it's moving here. I mean, if you feel confident, you can go down it. Why don't I see him? I don't see Dan. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit.
And you're walking through all the good fishing. <laughs> yeah, I got worried too. Oh, I did. You see it? I did get one of your flip flops. Well, one ain't gonna do me no good. <laughs> you got, the other one's gone. Yeah, I ain't got no fishing rod. Yeah. Dude, did you really? Yeah, that's why I don't bring her. She never fing done that. Stupid. I shouldn't have done it. There was a couple in there. I was like, whoa, I got caught sideways and like I can't believe that. Like this one almost went over and this is more designed for that kind of stuff. Yeah. I had this one spot, I got a little sideways and it, and it was like No man, like it just I, I it rolled me like a Tootsie Roll, man, right, right upside down. But I may have water in because after that I was like having a hard time. Okay. Yeah, you controlling the boat and um yeah, and just when you were sitting there it was really low in the water. Drone. Oh shit, you brought your drone? Well, I don't even know where the food is, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I got bars and stuff though, man. You can <sighs> Dumb, man. I should never have done that. I never do that for that very reason. <laughs> no. I know. Uh, I gave you a fault. I'm telling you, man, I'm bad luck. Bad luck, I'm dude. Bad luck, dude. Wonder if I should just um, scoop it out with like a water bottle, cut the top off that water bottle and use it as a cup. Yeah, that could work. Just kind of, if I can get the majority of it out, I mean, I'll be fine. It's just, I, I can tell something felt very unstable. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what, that's quite a bit of water, man. I, like I said, I need to get new covers. Look at this, see this? Here. I had that knife, man, I don't know what I would have done. Yeah. I was trying to snap it and I couldn't. That's uh, that's what I carry one on my vest. All right, so let me lift this end up so that it all goes to the other end. It's a lot of water. <sighs> yeah, it does. But it's 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 um it's underneath the edge here, I think. Oh, okay. I mean, it's not on the bottom. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, the, mine's like that too. Mine's on the top. That's all right. This is, if I can get most of it out, I'll be fine. It's your fault, man. You know it is. <laughs> ah. All right. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't done that in a while. It's been, uh, it's been three or four years, I guess. Yeah, I need to get, get a hold of Jackson and get some new covers. Because I've flipped before. I never got a drop of water in this thing. Really? Last time I flipped was, I, I think it was about four years ago. Was that the one you were with me? No, I was with John and them, and it was the river was real high. The power of water. Yeah, I'm not crazy. Yeah. Good, man. Thanks. Uh. Wow, about to wear that thing off. <laughs> I mean, what are you gonna do? Yeah. I, like I said, I don't worry about the rods. I, 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 I'm, I, I, I use rods that I ain't gonna cry about. It's just not a pleasant thing to go through. Yeah, no, definitely. 
I think there's a uh, extra clip in here too. Oh man, your new rod? I mean, just, I'll use anything. I don't care, man. It's like, it's a pretty straight shot. We're still up in Virginia. We haven't crossed the border yet. No. I was just looking at the map. <sighs> Woo hoo! Yeah! Feeling alive, baby. <laughs> Sorry to laugh. <laughs> well, a flip flop's just a funny thing, anyway, right? Yeah. It's a funny word. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure when you go home, open up all your tackle boxes. I lost a whole box of chatterbait. Two or three day trip, but I got rained on and the sun came out for like a few hours one day. It rained the whole time. And I opened up everything and just in, the, in this parking lot at the boat ramp. Yeah. Pulled everything out of my boat, had all my tackle boxes open. And I guess because of the skirting, it just didn't quite get all the way dry. So I, I put everything away and then like a month later I opened it up. Like everything was good except for my chatterbaits. All the hooks are all rusted. But this is good, man. Glad we did it. I mean, this is all part of it. Yeah, boy, it, may, it muddied it up here. What's that? So it muddied it up for sure over here on the bank. Now I want to end the day with a double rainbow. Yeah. Nice one. Cool. Cool. Good, man. How big was that one? That big, maybe a little bigger. Cool. Looks like maybe she was, uh, had some eggs or something because her, her little butt had something sticking out of it. Oh, really? And I was like, oh, okay. Nice. Good man, I wanted you to catch fish. I had I had some good days. Um, that was that was really the plan because you don't get to go a lot. Well, yeah, and that's six fish, you know, and that's not a terrible day. Next spring we'll we'll get it, we'll do it a little early. We'll plan it. How how easy is it for you to take off a day during the week? I just gotta do it in advance. Okay, if you got gigs, we'll plan on uh, plan working around it. That was a that was a that was a rough trip. <laughs>